In this short video, we will cover the basics of acquiring data using the LavaStorm desktop. I will demonstrate using the Excel file, CSV file, delimited file and fixed format file acquisition nodes. Data can also be acquired from databases, however this will not be covered in this video. All of the nodes shown in this video are found in the acquisition category of the node library. The first node I will demonstrate is the Excel file node. You need to double click on the node from the library to add it to the graph canvas. Once the node has been added to the graph, double click on it to open a node editor so it can be configured. Enter a name for the node. A descriptive name will aid in producing a visual and self-documenting graph. To find the Excel file you wish to load, click the Choose button and then browse to the location it is saved. Either double click the file or select it and click the Save button. Although the node will run with just the file parameter filled in, there are some other options you may wish to choose. The concatenation type will allow you to choose the node's behaviour if there is data on more than one worksheet in the workbook. It will determine how the data on the different worksheets is joined into one output. The default type allows you to choose which data type should be used. The workbook spec parameter allows you to define the structure of your Excel workbook. An example specification is shown in the workbook spec example parameter. For more information about this parameter, consult the node help using the button at the top of the node editor. Once you have configured the node, click OK at the bottom of the dialog box and then run the node. Once the node is run and the data loaded, you can view it by double clicking the output pin and opening the BRD viewer. The next node I will be looking at is the CSV file acquisition node. Double click the node from the library to add it to the graph. Double click the node once it has been added to open the node editor. Again I will enter a name for the node. As with the Excel node, click the choose button to browse for your file. Double click the file or select it and click save. The node normally takes the field names from the first line of the input file. If different names are desired, they should be set in the field names parameter. Click OK once the node has been configured. Run the node to load the data onto the graph. It can then be viewed in the BRD viewer. The next acquisition node is the delimited file node. Double click the node from the library to add it to the graph. Then double click the node that has just been added to open the node editor. I will enter a name for the node. As with the other acquisition nodes, I will click choose to find the file to be loaded onto the graph. Choose the file. In this instance, I am using a tab delimited file and click save. I will enter the tab delimiter characters into the field delimiter parameter and the new line delimiter into the record delimiter parameter. The field names are normally taken from the first record of the file. If you wish to use different file names, fill in the field names parameter. When the node is configured, click OK and run the node and then view the loaded data in the BRD viewer. The last acquisition node I am going to demonstrate is the Fixed Format File node. Double click the node from the library to add it to the graph. Then double click the node on the graph to open the node editor. Again I will enter a name for the node. I will click the Choose button to browse for the file I wish to load. Then double click the file or select it and click Save. Enter the width of each record in your file in the record width parameter. Then the names and positions for each field in the file need to be added in the field positions section. Once the node is configured, click OK and run the node. The loaded data can now be viewed in the BRD viewer.